Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video on OffCrack, the password cracking program that uses rainbow tables to crack NTLM and LM passwords that are used um, commonly by Windows. Uh, I know originally I said I would link a file for you guys, but I just decided it would be easier and I'd have more control if I did this myself. So, OffCrack, it's a free program to download and the rainbow tables that I use with it are free as well. So what you do is you go to offcrack.sourceforge.net uh, you can just Google off crack and it's the first one to get. So once you download it, you also want to download the tables. And as I covered, there's a, in the last uh, tutorial for password cracking, there's a lot of different tables that are available. So you have the free tables and then you have the paid tables. And I've gotten really good success with just the, the free tables that they have. Now, what we also need to do is generate some NTLM based hashes. So the way that we're going to do that is just go to Google and type in NTLM hash generator or password generator. And uh, the website that I use is this right here. Um, and it's the first link that pops up. And what you're going to do here is you're going to um, choose what kind of password length you want, how many passwords you want out of it, and what kind of character set you want to use. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be end up, uh, we're going to use a, um, a couple of symbols in here just to add a little bit of complexity and difficulty to this. And we'll do 10, uh, 7, uh, length seven passwords. So we're going to generate those passwords and we're going to calculate the hashes. Now you can't mess with this formula. It's got to stay like this to be able to work properly. So I'm going to copy that right here, create a new text file on my desktop and all right, and just paste it in here. And what we're going to do is let's make it a little bit longer now. Let's make this one instead of seven, let's make it a length of 10. We'll generate some more passwords and calculate these hashes. All right. Paste those in here. And uh, finally, we'll do a 13 length password and again, generate. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add one password in here that remember it was going to take a long time to brute force. So I'll just add that in here and then we're going to calculate these hashes and paste this in. So we've got now a total of 31 different hashes for NTLM passwords and we're going to save this. Um, on our desktop as ntlmhash.txt. Okay, perfect. So now that this is done, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our program called OffCrack. So you just um, open up OffCrack here. And what you want to do is by default, these, these um, tables are not going to be here. Uh, what you, so once you've downloaded them, you actually have to load them onto into the program. So I've been testing this out a little bit just to make sure that it goes well, which is why they're here. But the way that you do it is you click on tables and you're going to click install and you navigate to the area where you have those tables. And for me, it happens to be on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is go into uh, the place where the tables are. So there's the Vista tables and the XP tables. Now, I've heard a couple of different mixed things about these and what I've heard is that you don't want to load the XP tables if you're calculating an NTLM based hash because XP didn't use NTLM. However, when I did try to do that, it took over four hours to crack 30 hashes. Uh, and when I add them, it cracks them really quickly. So what I'm going to tell you guys is just load the hashes to begin with. Now, what's going to happen here is uh, the system is going to take these uh, hashes and I'm going to click crack right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to load the file um, here. You're going to do load and you're going to do password dump file. You can do a single hash, but you can also do the password dump file, which which is what we did. And that was the um, NTLM hash dot text file that we created. And so you have all these passwords in here. And the last one is because I'm Batman. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click crack. Now, um, Again, depending on how complex your passwords are, it's going to take a little bit of time. What it's doing, and the more RAM you have, the better this program is going to work, is it's loading the rainbow tables from your hard drive onto your RAM. And it does this because obviously RAM is accessible faster than your drive. This is how a lot of programs work. So in the background, what you're going to see, and I, again, I have 16 gigs of RAM working on this unit. Um, 
and I'm going to click Task Manager, and you'll see that here in the performance, it's using up almost as much of my RAM as it can. And uh, it the reason it's doing that is to be as efficient as possible with cracking passwords. Now, of the 31 passwords, it's already gotten three of them. And so I'm just going to let this program run real quick, and then we'll see how long it takes to crack all 30 passwords, 31 passwords. All right, so it's been about now almost an hour and a half, and you'll see that 29 out of the 31 passwords have been cracked. Uh, there's a couple, um, probably like another hour I can let this go to go through the rest of this table. However, I'm going to stop here, and as you guys can see, for an hour and a half, 29 passwords is a really, really good time. Uh, so this is how you use OffCrack. If you have any questions about the program, again, uh, anyone in the cybersecurity lab that's knowledgeable on this will be more than happy to help. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial.